Hello, dear adventurers, and welcome to another Needlessly Complicated 14. My name's Arietta, and today marks five months. Hi, Seki, welcome in. Uh, yeah, so today, today is five months of stream. I'm pretty dang stoked about it. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm pretty stoked. It's been such a short time and a long time, and it's just been really nice to, to see that this has actually grown and taken off. Like, people actually want to see my stream, and that has been something where I was really worried when I first started streaming that no one would care. No one would bother seeing what I was up to and what I had to say. So that there are people who are here and care about all of that and care about coming to say hi and see me when I'm live, it means a lot to me. Um, we are coming up real quick on that 30 follower mark as you can see and let me just do i have that bot yes so at 30 followers i am going to be unlocking our very first emote on our discord server and while this one is already in progress i did just open up kind of like not really a poll just like a channel on the discord server that says hey if you want to have a say in the uh, emotes that we use here like what are emotes that you would use what emotes are you hoping that you'll see just like drop a short answer in the discord server so that uh, your opinions and uh, preferences can be taken into consideration and for those of you who haven't joined the discord server yet there is now a link in the chat on twitch that is an invite link to Arietta's quest blog but even though I'm super excited about the discord server that's not necessarily why we're here <laughs> so uh, I've already switched over to my Arcanist gear and we're going to head over to the Arcanist Guild and get that last Arcanist quest uh, or at least the last one we'll be getting there it's a multi-part quest system for this one but yeah one of the really interesting things about Arcanist is that it's the only job that has more than one job stone it's the only one that has a split path more or less And I am making an attempt to make sure that I stay nutritionally sound and not hungry. I have a sort of weird nutritional drink that I put peanut butter into and made into a hot chocolate on my desk. We'll see how that works. Just trying new things to make sure that I'm able to stream for as long as possible. But yeah, it is a chocolate nutritional drink that I poured hot water into so that would be a hot chocolate and then I put a spoonful of peanut butter and a very small amount of chocolate chips in there to stir in. We'll, we'll see how well that goes. <laughs> Alright, so here we are talking to Guildmaster Thubergeim. I've been expecting you, Arietta. As ever, Clahia's predictions prove accurate almost down to the moment, and her mind is especially sharp with such a dangerous confrontation in the offer in the offing. The Yellow Jackets have contacted us with word of Dosmaga. It appears his merchant vessel is presently anchored off the coast of Bloodshore. 
Once the pirate's business there is concluded, rumor has it that he intends to embark on an extended voyage to the east. It will be some time before he returns once more to Limsa Lominsa. If we pass up this opportunity, Clyhia will lose her chance to settle the score with Dosmaga, and we risk the Forseer stumbling once more into blackest melancholy. Simply getting close enough to Dosmaka will prove difficult. Clyhia has, however, already formulated a solution, and has set her grand strategy into motion. Your first task in this undertaking is to travel to Costa del Sol and deliver this set of directions to a fisherman by the name of Railzirn. More instructions will be forthcoming. Okay, so first we're heading off to Costa del Sol. And I'm going to stop and stretch already. <laughs> I went to the chiropractor this morning, but unfortunately, uh, one of my ribs keeps liking to... I don't want to say dislocate. That seems more uh, actionable than what it's doing. It keeps kind of floating out of place, <laughs> and it's very frustrating. And currently I have chiropractic homework. He basically said, I don't know how to get it back in this time. So you're just going to have to keep using a foam roller. And if it starts to hurt or makes it worse, stop immediately. But right now you need to get the knots of muscles out of your back first. So that's where I'm at today. <clears throat> I hope you all are doing super well. It was quite a long and busy weekend for me, so I'm still pretty tired. I accidentally fell asleep at 6 p.m. And by accidentally, I truly mean it. I sat down and was just sitting down doing something, and all of a sudden, I was just very much asleep. And I didn't wake up again for three hours. So that was, yeah, an experience. Oh, I should probably have Carbuncle out here if I'm going to have things attacking me. Oh, that wasn't the right one that attacked me either. Well, this is exciting. This is incredibly exciting. I should probably heal. Get out of the way. Use the potion. Heal some more. And we'll just... Get that AoE. Go away! <laughs> um... Just stop, please. I'd rather not have to deal with this thing that is several levels higher than me. Please, thank you. So, chaos, that's a thing. I'm gonna stir my hot chocolate a little bit more so that it'll integrate better. The peanut butter kind of got a little bit stuck with some of the chocolate powder stuff and so it created kind of a shell that's preventing it from melting which is very weird <laughs> but yes after such a busy weekend my partner is home today and uh, has been playing more Genshin Impact I will also be playing Genshin Impact but that will be tomorrow Yep, it'll be my second time playing. I still have no idea what the hell is going on. Look forward to it. <laughs> Alright. What is it you want, lass? As you can see, I have me hands full with me fishing. But I have a letter. A directive's list, nonetheless. A short list of orders drafted by Melvin's gate assessor, Clyhia. Hand over... 
Ah, thanks for that. I've been told to expect you. Here you go. You're to take one of me earrings and deliver it to the Coca Opalona. Well, okay. Hopefully I won't get hit again by things in the process. That is a big green penguin thing. Okay, how do I get up there again? <laughs> uh, here? Here. Yes, and how might I help you? Master Gagaruju is expecting his breakfast any moment now. I have a herring! A fresh herring? Why, the master does enjoy a bite of broiled fish uh, of a morning. This might even earn me a few extra coins for this week's wages. Well, you have earned yourself one of my homemade eel pies. I should tell you, though, your arcanist colleague was quite insistent that you take the pie to Master Gigaraju rather than scoff it down yourself. I, uh, why, why are you giving me so many puzzles? This is a very complicated shell game you got going on, Clyia. All right. And what brings you to my, and I use the term facetiously, humble abode, dear madam? Mmm, such a heavenly aroma. Are you perchance carrying an eel pie about your person? How commendable that you should uh, research the delicacies that tickle my fancy before daring to intrude upon my most ponderous of ponderings. Speaking of ponderous, well, I was speaking of it at least. I have a hefty purse of guilt to persuade you to relinquish your, your claim on that pastry. Okay. Sure, give me, give me money. One moment, if you will. I have been instructed by a Melvin's Gate Assessor to hand over this message to whoever delivers an eel pie to Master Gagaraju. Uh, I will... I will be in Master Gagaraju's company. Enjoy it might be a bridge too far. Take the purse you received from Master Gagaraju and hand it to the dancer Eld Eldgith as she prepares to return home. Clyhia. That was a face that I made, most certainly. A face indeed. Hmm. <clears throat> So, Eeldgith, is that how it's supposed to be pronounced? Yes, if you're looking for a dancer, then I would first uh, see your coin. I have three children to feed and no time to waste on idle chat. A heavy coin purse, here you go. Oh my, that is quite a purse. My precious starlings will eat like kings this week. And such a simple job as well. I was told to expect you, you see. In return for the coin, I am to give you these. The leather satchel is uh, from your Mikote friend, and the perio is from me. That last item you are to deliver to Drogo, the warehouse foreman. Okay. And where is he? I like... is that a helmet? Oh, it's a scarf. It's a good color either way. It should have been her hair. I ain't got time for the likes of you. If I don't get me work squared away soon, the master will have me out on a pike. Hmm? You got something for me, you say? Uh, the colorful cotton undergarment worn for countless summers by the dancer Ildgith. Gross! I hope it was washed. 
Hey now, ain't this Eldgith's perio? That Makote last said someone'd bring me a gift what I couldn't refuse, and stick uh, me with a pitchfork if she weren't telling the god's own truth. Here, you're supposed to have this bottle of wine. Take it to the flying shark and pour a cup for the sailors of uh, what are drinking there. That's what she told me to tell you any road. I'd watch you back if I was you, though, last. Them sailors are the meanest bunch of cutthroats I ever did see. Alright, and now we run back. Again. This place is very interesting. It's just... Bridges. So many bridges. Why all the bridges? And we'll come back and deal with Weiskit later. Okay. Oh, do you see what I see? You will shortly, at any rate. You want me to taste your wine, eh? Well, now, I ain't one to pass up free grog. Lemans. Uh, figure. Now that's a bloody fine drop. If uh, we ship this stuff to the east, they'll be selling bottles by the crate. You're coming with us back to the Morning Star. The captain will want to have a word with you. Yeah, I'll agree. I don't want to, but... There's a good lass. Uh, and as for you, Miss Dancer, you stick close to old. Uh, here's... Here's Scrat. It gets damn cold on them long sea voyages. <laughs> she magically appeared. Alright, I'm gonna see how this hot chocolate ended up. Not bad. Not bad at all. Not great. Not bad. Anyway, she is whispering to me, Shh! We'll talk later. Okay, so now we have to go over to a boat. So, there it is. You ready then? We'll be off as soon as the boat's loaded. Alright, so. This one should be rather exciting. Because it's another boat fight. We get into a lot of those, I guess. I didn't know summoning a little carbuncle was going to be so dangerous. Ah, fine grog and fine woman. The captain will be pleased with this haul. Pray, do not stare so. This was the most expedient method of gaining access to the ship. I will take that satchel from you now. You may have it back after I take the items I need. Eh? What mischief are you two about? I was merely borrowing some clothes. You wouldn't want me to catch a chill from this brisk ocean air, would you? You'll be dancing yourself warm once we get to the ship, lass. <clears throat> and here we are. 
on Dos Magos ship. Captions is incorrect, but still somewhat accurate. Funnily enough, it corrected as smuggler's ship. You better slip off that ratty row before you meet the captain. Of course, of course. Heck yeah! I'll be happy to show him the performance that awaits. The Admiral's lapdog, uh, come back for that lesson, have you? It is I who shall be teaching this day. My lecture will focus on the manipulation of reality through applied strategy. I don't remember that move at all. Enough of this damn yap, and by the time I'm done with you, you'll remember who your real master is. Alright, so, now we have to fight off a bunch of dudes, and ladies. Well, not very ladylike, that is for certain. Uh... And... Flyhia is still talking about geometry for reasons beyond my grasp of understanding. Come on! Why is it... Oh, because I am clicking a wrong button. There we are. Oh, this guy needs to be attacked. That's one thing that I always have trouble with. It's just like, hey, could you please attack the person that is directly causing you an issue? still have to deal with these ones back here before we can move on, it looks like. It's been so long since I've done this particular set of quests. You rabid little cur. That's rabbit, not rabid. Our numbers matter not. It is a strategy no, that will win this battle. Prepare yourself, Dos Maga. With your defeat, I will cast off the shackles you closed on my soul. You think so, eh? No, think your fancy magic's a match for my blade? You've got another thing coming. Alright. I can't see! That is unhelpful. Dos Maga Poison Heart. That's one hell of a name. I think this is 
the last person? Yes, duty complete. Dosmog now faces defeat. He will flee off the, the starboard rail. Obvious. Next he comes his attempt to escape into the sea. You think you're pulling me strings, do you? Think I'll dance to your tune? Well, I ain't uh, falling for your bloody tricks. At this exact moment, he notices the yellow jackets I ha had you summoned to my explicit instructions uh, to uh, real Zirn. And there they all are. <clears throat> you are a fool to run, Dosmaga. I hear you're fond of shackles, so we have brought a set especially for you. Well, she gets results, that's for damn sure. Thus concludes today's lecture. Thank you, Arietta. This strategy could not have succeeded without your flawless execution. Which suggests, suggests that my tactics yet require more work. One must allow for some small deviation in performance. I believe, however, that I now understand where my calculations went awry. It is not enough to wish to shape reality. One must also have a complete understanding of the reality one wishes to obtain. It is time I sought out our guildmaster. No splash! Pray convey to Mistress Thubergai my fondest wishes as a, and my appreciation for all that she has done for me. The true test of my strategies now begins. And off she goes into the sunrise instead of the sunset. All right. So now we return to the Guildmaster. Well, acting Guildmaster Thubergeim. Okay. Darkness skills. Oh, hang on just a second. Sorry about that, my dad was calling. We'll find out what he's calling about after stream. Welcome back, Arietta. There's much I would ask you, but first, may I have the satchel you received during your assignment? 
Uh, yes. The veil of mystery surrounding this otherwise ordinary sack is so thick it could suffocate it and aurochs. <laughs> The original owner needs her costume back, you see. I'll make sure the evening is a... I'll make sure that everything is returned safe and sound. Now, let us speak of Clyhia. I'm glad to know that she has finally freed herself uh, to pursue her heart's desire, and you are to thank for awakening the foreseer to her self-imposed fetters. The brilliance of Clyhia's strategies served to blind her to her own feelings, and it pained me to see her suffer so. Your example may even encourage Clahia to improve her combat abilities, although such will surely come in time. After all, she intends to study under the Guildmaster's direct instruction. Imagine those two obsessive arcanists and their complexity of their tactics they will develop. My reading comprehension is already gone and we're only a little over half an hour in. It may very well be that your actions in bringing them together will prove the catalyst that sparks a new era of innovation or invention in the art of a, a Herkanima. You too should look uh, to the improvement of your discipline if you are to keep pace with all that is certain to follow. To that end, I offer you a new technique, one I pray allows you to more readily drive back your foes on the battlefield. Ooh, and there's new clothes as well. What's this? Ruin Mastery. And Ruin too, And a Grimoire. Okay. But first. Uh, the shirt is worse. Even though it's a higher item level. Uh, the pants are better. Uh, the gloves are also better. Better than the pants. And the shoes are better, approximately the same amount of better as the gloves. They're going to be brightly colored either way. Okay. We'll take the gloves then, if we're, they're going to be bright. Okay, so... Real quick, we're just going to make sure we are wearing the best possible gear. And now it begins! Greetings, Arietta. It is well that you have come, for we have an intriguing matter to discuss. A request has come to our guild from the Sons of Saint to Koinach an organization uh, of some of the finest minds in Eorzea, and they have asked for you by name. It appears that their research of the sons are currently conducting would benefit from the assistance of an arcanist, specifically one who has had the tempering experience of uh, defeating the primal Ifrit. Though I must admit to some curiosity as to how these scholars knew the extent of your heroic exploits, I suppose the source of their knowledge is of little relevance. If you would answer this request, then you will find your contact, a researcher by the name of Humetria, at uh, Apkalu Falls in the nation of Gridania. And while we're here... Hmm, Arietta, have you any interest in history? If so, I would share with you an opportunity to study the ways of the ancients. A curious, refined, and well-read marauder visited the guild the other day in the hopes he might meet an arcanist of exceptional skill. He claims that the assistance of one such individual would be invaluable for the success of his archaeological research. I say claims because despite his eloquence, the thought of a marauder with academic ambition still strikes me as odd. Rude! You are, of course, free to formulate your own opinions. His name is Alka Zolka. And he can be found at the Marauders Guild, should curiosity overwhelm you. I like Alkazulka. He's cute. Alright, and even though we are closer to the Scholar Quest, I am going to start with the Summoner Quest. But first I'm going to take another sip of my 
hot chocolate. Alright, I just didn't want you guys to have to listen to me trying to extricate the peanut butter from the spoon. So, let us head over. Well, we might as well. No. No, it's going to be easier if we can teleport within the city. And there isn't an Ethernet shard near the airship dock. You know, something that would have been extremely useful. So, fastest way is over by the Lancer's Guild. We'll be picking up that quest sometime in the near future. That. I just said that we'd be picking it up in the near future. I did not mean now, but of course, I headed straight for it. No, we've got a waterfall to visit. I do wish that the waterfall were a little bit closer to an Ethernet, just because of how frequently we come back here, but I guess that's not for me to complain about. Hi, Yamitra! You are Arietta Stormstrike, I assume. Well met, and thank you for coming. My name, as you have obviously surmised, is Yamitra. I'm a member of the Sons of Saint de Koinach. Ours is a Charlian order that seeks the lost knowledge of the Allegan Empire. And in that regard, we have recently made a singularly important discovery at our dig site in Mordona. We salvaged from the ruins a set of ancient texts describing the essence of a, select, of a sect of Allegan mages known as summoners. These were arcane practitioners said to have the ability to siphon the essences of the primals and manifest the stolen energy as a biddable ally known as an e edgy? Eggy? It's an egg. We are gonna summon an egg. Should we succeed in this in resurrecting such arts, then we might well hold in our hands the power to bring this age of conflict to an end. There is, however, as there always must be, one monumental obstacle to realizing this reality. In order to manifest these obedient incarnations of the beastmen's the savage deities, one must first defeat a primal and capture its etheric essence. Thus, only one who can boast such a daunting achievement under her belt may even begin on the path of becoming a summoner. Do you understand now why I called upon you? If you wish to contribute to my research, uh, then come to me in the west of a Byergot strike in southern Thanalin. There shall we conduct a ritual of summoning, the austerities of flame. Okay, and that is going to be to the south of Forgotten Springs. We still have quests to do here, but we will come back for them later. And none of them are quests that we need to accept on our mini-map, so... They're ones that we've already accepted and just need to do at some point, but I wanted to get as many drop stones as I could before then. It's 
It's very pretty out here. Uh, earlier when I was opening up Final Fantasy because there were some issues with the servers earlier today that caused it to be very oversaturated. Uh, I was looking up and I ended up seeing a shooting star. I didn't even know this game had shooting stars in it, so that was fun. I love that she's fanning herself because the desert is so hot. Greetings to you once more, Arietta. I had a feeling this unique opportunity would be nigh impossible for you to ignore. Let us proceed directly to the ritual, shall we? According to the records we recovered, the summoners of old would perform these rites in a land of which uh, the natural dominant element matched the aspect of the avatar they wished to call forth. Only in such a place might one sufficiently shift one's etheric balance in the desired direction. The element of fire is especially strong here in this Saigoli desert. I can think of no land more fitting in which to summon an incarnation of the Lord of the Inferno. Before we begin, I must insist that you accept this gem. It may appear of little worth, but within it is its faceted depths dwell the memories of long-deceased summoners. Now, you must focus. Visualize the aether flowing through you, a vibrant current of energy transforming into living fire. Hold this image in your mind, and the raging heart of your life force shall spawn an eggy wreathed in flames. Be aware, however, that this uh, nascent entity will appear before you unbound and hostile. It is your charge to overpower the avatar and establish yourself as its master. The path of the summoner is not if fraught with peril. All right. Hi, Para. Thank you. I'm so excited. It's already been five months, and yet it seems like no time at all. Currently, we are becoming a summoner. We are unlocking that job stone, which means that we have to actually uh, win against the things we're planning on summoning. This being one of them. I'm also going to put on the food, not that I need it for this job. Okay. Hello. Please attack me. Leave the healer alone. The healer doesn't want to deal with you. <laughs> going pretty quick. They really did kind of streamline some of the earlier parts of the game. So that's nice of them. Uh-oh. Crimson Nail. This is stuff that we have to pay attention to because that's how you defeat Ifrit, is you attack his nails, which I guess bind him to the place? I don't really understand the logic behind it, but that's okay because we're still going to attack them, and we're still going to win. <laughs> Almost done! Hooray! Duty complete! Most impressive, Arietta. The fireborn Aegea has submitted to your will. You have mastered the austerities of flame, and that is no small feat. Pray, let us return to Apkalu Falls that we might further discuss your achievement. Alright, back to New Gridania we go. Alright, so Lancer's Guild was closest. As I've said multiple times, it's still hard to believe that... Like, it's already been five months and it's only been five months. There's just been 
so much that has happened and so much that I've learned from streaming. And it's also just really interesting to see, like, how much I've been able to learn because I've kind of had to, like figuring out all of the community building stuff, figuring out Discord and all that entails and all the technicalities for streaming. I had to get back into graphic design materials and knowledge that I haven't touched in like six years in order to work on the overlays and everything. Of which I have the one for fall already made. It's already in OBS. And I will be able to have that on our first stream day in October. I hope you guys like it. I think it's going to be a nice one. This is truly a momentous occasion. You have rescued the lost art of summoning from the grasping mire of forgotten history. But you must know more of the avatar you have bound. In the ancient tongue of the Allegan Empire, it would be known as Ifrit Egi, where Egi translates approximately to pure or essence of. In short, you have tamed the willful manifestation of Ifrit's raging fires. As you might expect from an entity born of the Lord of the Inferno, this avatar and its capacity for destruction should serve you well in your battles to come. With such an ally at your command, it is not too soon to take upon yourself the title of Summoner. You have proven yourself more than worthy of the soul crystal you now possess. Yet, be that as it may, the road before you is long and arduous. If you would triumph in this age of conflict, you must needs master more than just the Eggy of Fire. I suggest you next fix your gaze upon claiming a servant of unyielding stone. This will, of course, necessitate you joining an expedition to defeat the primal known as Titan. This beloved divinity of the Kobolds possesses the greatest threat to Limsa Lominsa, and it is there that you shall find allies in your cause. The risks are great, but so too are the rewards. Topple the Lord of Crags, and we may progress to the next stage of our historic research. Fair fortune to you, Arietta. Next quest will be level 35. But first, we have to deal with the task of getting Summoner on all of our hotbars. <laughs> But now I can summon Ifrit. So that's nice. Okay, so first we put in the stone. We make sure that we have all the best gear for it. And we delete Arcanist and add Summoner. We're going to go in here. And Arcanist is after Reaper, but it is one, two, it is, there's three between it, so it's going to be after, sorry if I'm not making sense, that's just kind of how it goes sometimes when I'm trying to figure things out. It makes sense in my head. But that helps literally no one else. So Summoner is now on our little job selector. And let's see. So that is going to be slash hot bars. Is there an S or no? I'm going to just go over to where I kept a note on it. Hot bar copy. Okay. Copy Arcanist one. Summoner one. Okay. And hot bar copy Arcanist two. Summoner two. Okay. And now I'm going to double check to make sure that they look correct based on my summoner, my main character. Okay. Because it's going to be easier for me, most certainly. 
if I can just follow that. Um, where? I guess I don't have sleep on my bars, which I find hilarious. Okay. I'm gonna put sleep. Okay. I can move that around, put that here, that here, put that here. And I think that's going to be the closest to my hot bars as I'm going to be able to get it. All right. So we now have Summoner. Uh, so if we do this, if we get into battle, our little carbuncle will turn into an Ifrit when we have done the Aether Charge and completed charging that up. And we're already almost level 32. So one of the things about summoners and scholars that is really helpful but can also be a wee bit of a pain is that they share experience. So if you are working on summoner, you will gain the experience for scholar as well and vice versa. So both get leveled simultaneously. What I ran into and what was a problem for me specifically is that I never learned how to use Scholar. So having a level 90 Scholar helps me in absolutely no way because I only ever got to the level 35 job quest for it and never learned how to properly use it, especially not in, uh, not in a dungeon or raid or anything of the sort. And now we're gonna go see little Alkazulka. Hello, small, small, okay, so, unequip, so now we're Arcanist again because we have unequipped the Soul Stone and can pick up our Scholar Quest. These ones are kind of cute, I do like them. Thank you for setting aside your preconceptions, Arietta. I am acutely aware of how unusual it is for a marauder to conduct research, as it were. However, you shall soon understand that I am not like, not at all like my more muscular brethren. Rather than rush blindly into the enemy's maw, I formulate and execute stratagems to great effect. My archaeological pursuits are but an extension of this practice, uh, for at present I am researching the military tactics of ancient Nim. Twould not surprise me if you were unfamiliar with Nim. The civilization flourished some fifteen odd centuries ago during the fifth, fifth astral era. The Nimians lived during an age of wonders when the magical arts flourished, but magics can be wielded for weal or for woe. And this period of peace eventually gave way to the Great War of the Magi. The nations of the bygone era brought earth-shattering magics to bear against one another. Yet Nim, with only a handful of mages to support its army of mariners, repulsed would-be invaders time and time again. Precisely how the military force of this composition could defy its stronger neighbors is a mystery which has long puzzled many military historians. By translating extant Nimian tablets, which I have recently purchased, I mean to solve the riddle at long last. As my knowledge of Arcanima is cursory at best, I require an experienced Arcanist to assist me in my analysis of any text pertaining to the magical arts. Would you be that Arcanist, Arietta? Yeah, sure. 
There is, however, a complication. The Nimian tablets and other assorted relics, for which I paid an exceedingly large amount of money, were stolen en route to Limsa Lamensa. The information inscribed upon those tablets could be of untold significance. I will not allow thieves to sell it to some rich old dawn collector for a pittance. Pray accompany me to the Raincatcher Gully docks and help me reclaim my relics. I have a strong reason to believe the perpetrators can be found there. Alright. We shall help. Uh, it's probably faster to just go to Wineport. And now we can go south. <clears throat> this quest is pretty cute and funny after you have defeated the uh, pirates, as it were. As I suspected, they are not more than broken men who have seized the docks and taken to robbing every passing ship. Come, let us put an end to their banditry and take back what is ours. Okay. Apparently we are going straight in for this. Hi. Yes. Ouch. Hello. Ouch. And we are not doing this as summoner, so we do not have the power of Ifrit behind us, because that's not the summon we are going to be continuing to use. I love how this the small the small fell over here is just kicking butt at every opportunity. I appreciate him so. Okay, that can be painful. Let's get out of the way of that. Do you see any others? No? Excellent. Now help me search for these tablets. I found a crate. Yes, yes, this is it. A treatise on Nimian military tactics, just as I had hoped. I found a rock. The rock had a fairy. Uh, uh, hello there. M mayhap the tablet can explain this. Mumble mumble scholars, familiars, fairies! The sunlight of Eos doth soothe and shield. The moonlight of Selene doth silence and strengthen. Arietta. Oh no, Navi is talking to me. By the twelve, 
And have you any idea what this means? We have rediscovered the long lost and magical arts of Nimian scholars. Fairies. Honest to God, fairies. Well, now I have seen everything. Anyway, I shall return to the guild and begin translating the tablet. I cannot wait to see what other secrets it contains. So now we head back to Limsa. It is a little bit funny that we are heading up to the Marauders Guild for our scholars quests from here on out. Or rather here on until the end of this expansion. Possibly the next expansion? I don't remember how the job quests change during and after Heaven's Word. I know at some point you're no longer in these major cities. Excellent timing, Arietta. I have just finished transcribing a section which will doubtless be of interest to you. According to the tablet, the crystal from which the fairy sprang forth is called the Soul of the Scholar, and it contains the wisdom of those long-dead Nimian mages. With it, you can call forth the fairy as you did before and bind her to your will. As I said before, I have little knowledge in Arcanima, so unless you have uh, some objections, I would like to entrust the crystal to you. Oh, and you needn't recompense me. Simply knowing that the lost arts are being preserved is enough. I shall devote my energies to deciphering the remaining texts. Should I discover anything new, I promise that you will be the first to know. Yay! We unlocked Scholar! Hooray! So with the soul of the scholar equipped, you can summon a fairy to aid you in battle. When called forth, she will assume the form of a healer-type pet. Alright, and here's where it starts getting real weird because once you switch over to scholar, all of the skills change. All of them. <laughs> um, okay, so character. And we are going to equip this soul crystal so we are now a scholar we have the recommended gear we are going to add a set for scholar and we're going to add it just behind conjurer right here on our little list and now we have all of these and it's not going to be as simple as before when I would just switch where the things go I actually have to like kind of pay attention on this one <laughs> stream elements is reminding us to take a sip of water if you have some available I highly recommend staying hydrated even though it rained here for like the past several days uh, we're still not out of it I'm pretty sure so Okay, so where is, did I put Eos? Um, Whispering, that's not, the Whispering Dawn goes here. And summon Eos and summon Selene. Um, I think I had Selene on one, but both are cute little fairies. So at some point we're gonna have to pick, okay. Um, good grief, okay. I don't know that, I think, huh, 
Okay, so realistically, I have absolutely no idea where all of these things are supposed to go. I just have a photo of my main. So, actions and traits. So, ruin, bio. We have bio 2 already, so this is attack, attack. Um... Adalopium, that's the thousand. And that goes right here. We don't get energy drained back for a while, but I had it here. Um, Art of War 2. So that's a damage spell. So we're going to move Asuna for a second. I don't know if I had repose anywhere on this bar, that's fine. Biolysis. So that's just a different kind of bio, too. What is that one? That's ruin, too. Okay, so. Again, my apologies for going around in circles here. Okay. I don't know where this one's supposed to go. And Fey Illumination. I believe I had that here. Chain Stratagem goes here. Um, that's Fey Blessing. I'm not even going to be able to use most of these for a while. Okay, so I haven't picked which fairy I'm going to go with, but Seraph is going to go here. Oh, uh, what is that button? Hmm. I am very confused. That's okay. That's kind of like par for the course for this one. It's just like, oh, you don't know what's happening? You're not going to. You're on the right path because you really just never. Nope. Never going to figure it out fully. That's fine. Where's that button? I have one on here that looks just kind of like a sun that is just kind of swirled and I'm not seeing the button for it. Maybe it is a roll? Yeah, rescue. Okay, that makes sense. Um, and I put sure cast here directly above resurrection. I still don't quite understand why I have my buttons where I have them, but that's okay. Aether flow I have where repose is. I don't really use sleep, so I'm just going to move that. Uh, Asuna, I don't really use that either, but that's really not, doesn't matter all that much. So I am going to put that here and put that here. And we will have to decide at some point which one so this is where my heel is this is my summon fairy this is my uh detrimental effect remover okay so ad loquium restores target hp grants galvanize um, nullifying damage equating to a percentage of hp restored 30 seconds okay we don't get that one back for a while. We have Ruin and we have Bio, which is a damage over time. Okay. I think that's all we really need to know, but yes. So, one of the big things that we're going to have to pick at some point. Do we like Eos? Or do we like Selene? At some point in time, we're going to figure that out. 
But yes, we have our bar set up. Incredible. Being able to actually use it, more difficult. Okay, we also have Whispering Dawn already set up, so that's gradually restores HP of all nearby party members. Okay. All right. So for now, I'm just going to leave us with Celine. So we unlocked both of those jobs and we got our scholar and summoner to level 32. I am very proud of us. Okay. So since we still have 45 minutes left to go, let's see what else we can do. So we already unlocked Warrior, Ninja, Scholar, and Summoner. So those are all of the Limsa Lomensa jobs that we could get job stones for that are currently available to us. So that's going to be um there's going to be three in Three? Yeah, three in Ulda and three in uh, Gridania. So. Let us head over and do the Ulda ones. Just for fun. Also, quick reminder for people who are new here, I have recently, or haven't seen me stream in a bit, I've recently changed my schedule, so now, that is the wrong button, we are streaming Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and on Mondays and Fridays we are still doing Final Fantasy XIV, but on Wednesdays for at least a while, we are going to be doing Genshin Impact. I haven't played before, so it is a new to me game. I played for about two hours last Wednesday, and now that it's actually set up, I'm hoping that we won't have to run into all the odd issues that prevented us from getting to play until much later than planned. It's all downloaded. Everything should be fine. We shouldn't have any more issues. So that'll be not tomorrow, the day after, on Wednesday at 2 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. If you are ever interested in finding updates for all of my various stream and other community stuff, please head on over to the Beacons directory that is in the stream chat on Twitch right now. That directory has links for Twitter, Discord, YouTube, Kofi, and Throne. And if I ever have any other links, they will go there. It also has the information for and credits for my graphics and overlay where I got the source material for those things. All right, my love. Damn it all to the seventh hell. This is madness. It's Aldous. He's been arrested by the Brass Blades. They claim he was plotting to assassinate the Sultana. This is utter nonsense. He has no motive to do so. And whatever I have said about the man, he would never resort to using poison. I'm not going to say anything. Y'all will see that stuff around the level 50 quests. The Alacrine must be behind this. They have failed to kill him time and again, and now they're reaching out to, to their monetarist allies. I didn't want to believe Wyman when he said they had such influence, but... Wait, that's it. If anyone can help us unravel this pro plot, it's Wymond. 
He has a reputation for knowing things he shouldn't, after all. Find Wyman. See what he can tell us. Aldous is many things, but he is not a murderer. All right. Gonna... Hi, Saki. Guess what? I got Scholar! I have a fairy now! And it took me way too long to figure out how to do all of the buttons on my hotbar. So that's fun. But we did the thing. So I have Scholar, but now we are unlocking Gladiator to... Paladin? Your other favorite. Hang on just one second. All right, so off we go to prove a man's innocence, maybe, possibly. Seki power activated. <laughs> Okay, so it's near the Aetherite Plaza is going to be the closest. I love that that red mage is out here in a bikini and a sarong. Very good. I was wondering when you might come along, Arietta. Frankly, I'm surprised Aldous went so quietly. He ought to know there's no walking away from this. A sarong is a rectangular uh, scarf or shawl type thing. It's usually worn over a bathing suit as like a skirt or something, just as a cover-up. Uh, I, If I were you, I would Google it. <laughs> uh, I'm probably not explaining it very well, but it's just tied over your clothes or underclothes as a cover-up, usually for hot weather or beach wear. Um, okay. What happened between Aldous and Leovold seven years ago? You really don't know, do you? Best I start at the beginning, then. Aldous is something of an enigma. He and Leovold were two of the greatest gladiators to ever grace the bloodsands, but he knew all that hard-fought glory. He threw all that hard-fought glory away for a few gil more. See, the average old Don loves a good Colosseum fight. And what better way to make a gladiatorial spectacle more entertaining than wagering on the outcome? So, when it got out that Aldous was orchestrating a match-fixing scheme of untold proportions, well, you can imagine the shock and anger the people felt. He was expelled from the Colosseum, and his uh, winds were stricken from the record. Your guildmaster Myla got the worst of it, though. Not only was her friend exposed as a fraud, but around the same time her father fell ill and passed away. There were some oddities surrounding his death, too. It was rumored he took his own life out of shame for his disgraced pupil, or that he might have even been murdered by the man. Baseless conjecture, really, but it made Aldous look that much worse. In the end, Myla lost two of the most important men in her life, and was forced to take charge of the guild alone. And Leovold? He tried to go it solo on the Blood Sands, but it wasn't the same. Without Aldous, his career was finished. Now, you know the nature of the man you so desperately want to save, though, judging from the look in your eyes, I gather you still have your reservations. Fine, then. Though you can't blame me for doubting a man found in possession of Ralgar's bile. Tis a vile poison, rare and expensive, too. Only the Corpse Brigade knows how to make it, I hear. 
Gods only know why they'd give it to Aldous. Could go to their headquarters at the Sepulchre in Southern Thanalan and ask him direct, I reckon. I have an aversion to direct confrontation personally, but you don't, do you? By the by, you should save should you save the poor bastard's life, tell him we're even, and that I hope it was all worth it. Okay. So we're gonna head over to little Alamigo. Yeah, so the use of a towel in that way is actually based on the sarong, which has existed for much longer. Okay, so apparently there are two locations for the rematch. Uh, I think I have to go the whole way around. Or is that an entrance? That is not an entrance. The map is unhelpful, or rather not as helpful as I would prefer. Okay, so because I don't feel like fighting literally everything in my path, I'm just gonna hop on botanist and use the sneak ability. So a wrinkled bill of sale. Ah, uh, you cannot continue this until the uh, rude. Okay, gonna hop over to this corner over here, and we'll get back on gladiator. Ah, uh, of course. Okay, hi. I was trying to do this the easy way, but the game wasn't having any of it. Oh, of course. Thanks. So, we are running into members of the Alacrim here. In the hold of the Corpse Brigade. Interesting. He says, I'll be honest, I hope you like the gladiator and paladin story because it's terrible <laughs> in your opinion. Well, we'll most certainly find out, won't we? I see a shiny thing down below. Yeah. So we're gonna hop in this corner, change clothes, wait for our health to go back up. It is taking a while for our health to go back up. That's fine. I'm gonna just gonna sneak. Probably gonna need to fight this guy. 
Yep. Hello, friend. I'm just gonna AoE for a bit. And we're gonna get close to this bowman, so he also feels some of the attack. There we are. The other ones will follow. So we did the thing, and now we have to go back to Ulda. I don't know if we'll have time to unlock Paladin today, but we might. Keyword being might. Okay, so that's going to be back at the Gladiator's Guild. Paladin is pretty quick? Okay, then we might be able to. And that would mean that we would have unlocked three jobs today, which would be nice. Apparently my headphones have an update to install. Good to know. Okay. Where have you been, Arietta? Aldous has been given order... Aldous has been given over into the custody of the Sacrarium. They mean to execute him. We must do something. Well, uh, here is a wrinkled bill of sale detailing the dealings between the Alacran and the Corpse Brigade for the purchase of deadly poison known as Ralgar's Bile. And Ralgar's Bile, a terrible potion poison made famous from when it was used to assassinate an Alamegan king. Th this poison, is it? You've proof that the Alacran purchased it from the Corpse Brigade. Thank the gods, you've done it! Quickly, we must show this to the official presiding over his execution at Highbridge. Go! Now! It's over in Highbridge, which means that we have to go over to uh, Camp Drybone. Why the hell would they take him all the way over there just to execute him? That seems... Off. Like... Off and excessive and a waste of time. Oof, the lag. The lag on that was incredible. Can't wait until we have to go over into those. That'll be fun. Alright, so where are they executing him? Or attempting to, at any rate. It's down. Can we jump? Probably not. That would be too easy. Okay. These stairs make me dizzy. Are they just gonna push him off? Is that what we're doing here? The Sacrarium has sentenced you to death for your crimes against the Sultanate. Uh, have you any last- Huh? 
Who are you and what do you want? I have things to show you. Why is this a fight? I don't understand why this is a fight. These are bold accusations you make, adventurer. However, the Sacrarium has found the prisoner guilty in the eyes of gods and men, and he will be executed forthwith. Don't waste your breath, Arietta. Thal's scales have always yielded to wealth above all else, and Leovold spent a fortune to secure my sentence. Silence, criminal! And you! What are you waiting for? Do it! Where did that... All this! Just couldn't stay away, could you? Well, at least I don't have to steal the headsman's axe. If the gods are to have the blood this day, I'm afraid it won't be mine. Since you two are so devout, perhaps you'd be willing to offer yourselves in exchange? M mercy Hey, look. Interfering with the law is a heinous crime. In fact, I believe it is punishable by death. I had a feeling the spectacle would draw you here. I should have dealt with you myself from the start. Come, let's dance, brother. So it's to be a rematch? Very well, I accept. Myla and the others need you, Arietta. Leave him to me. Why do I have an itch right when this is about to start? Very rude. Okay. Can't even see people yet, and I'm already getting attacked. Well, that was too easy. Hi, friend. Okay. Apparently, I'm either super buff or this is just very easy. else was attacking me. I can't get to you. Okay, so. So, Gotwin Hex. I'm assuming, is the leader of Bunch. Just gonna keep using an AoE until all of them have fallen down and are not planning on getting back up. That's how it's done, right? Spin to win. Okay, and now we take care of the very small of Helen little uh, magic wielders. These guys do have pretty weird names. So, Jigeria the Guarded. Now we're fighting identical triplets, which is always fun. Hey, I won! I 
Aldis. Aldis. Everyone wants to call his name. I'm feeling left out. You almost had me, Leovold. Stay back. I won't have your pity. You just had to have it all, didn't you? Just one victory, one bloody match. But your precious ego couldn't accept that. You ruined everything. Tell me, Aldis. How does it feel to lose your name, your legacy, everything you ever loved? I want to know how much you suffered. Let it go, Leovold. It's over. He's not letting it go. Like hells it is. I swear, you will never know peace. Not in this life or the next. Leovold, no! Okay, bye. You know damn well neither of us will see Thal's realm. Let's go. Our comrades are waiting. Well, that was kind of anticlimactic. Just fall off a bridge. Everything's solved and hunky-dory. Seki says I was more thinking chastity of the Alacran and such. Seki, have you seen the naming conventions of this game? Chastity and whatever else of the Alacran is very normal. Uh, did you see all of the like knuckle dancer and fire dancer and blade dancer and uh, whatever else so for uh, the oh what are they called the corpse brigade like that's just the naming convention it is absolutely weird but in the context of the game it is not Still, I think this takes the slight edge. <sighs> if you say so. I'm glad you were there, Arietta. Without you, I doubt we could have defeated the Alacrin. Have you ever considered the Colosseum? You'd make a wonderful attraction. Of course, you'd need a title that befits your prowess. Now that it's all over, you'll be staying, won't you? No. Leovold may be dead, but the Alacrin are far from finished. I'd rather not linger and give them a chance to regroup and seek revenge. It is a true tragedy that I cannot enjoy the company of Uldah's loveliest ladies any longer, but I have faith that, that equally radiant beauties await me in distant lands. Eldis, I... Not another word, my dear. It's bad enough that the First Sword has permitted a disgraced gladiator to fraternize with her subordinates. Can you imagine the scandal if she became personally involved with the man? Nevertheless, I understand how you feel, Myla. I'm known to have this effect on the fairer sex. I should have let the headsman have his way with you. That way you might learn something of humility. Ah, but how am I supposed to remember the lesson without a head? Your father would be proud of you, my lot. Don't ever change. Ah, uh, yes. There's one more thing I wanted to say before I go, Arietta. Seven years ago, before my last match to the Blood Sands, I was given an offer. A sultan's ransom in exchange for a loss. Leovold begged and pleaded, but I, I just couldn't do it. Call it honor or pride or whatever you like. I made my choice, and in spite of all that came of it, to this day I have no regrets. It's a simple thing to know what's right. Listen to that heart of yours, and it will never lead you astray. Trust in your comrades, have faith in your skills, and you will triumph over any adversity. 
And with that, I bid you all farewell. I'd better not have to wait 70 years to see that bastard again. There's still so much, so much I want to... What in the seven hells are you all looking at? This is a training hall. Why aren't you all training right now? You think it all... You think all it takes to stand on the bloodstands is a sword and a stupid grin? No. It takes years of hard work and an ocean of blood and sweat and an unbreakable will. Every man and woman here has the potential to become a champion, but it is you and you alone who decides your destiny. So answer me now, gladiators. Will you follow in the footsteps of your brothers and sisters and inscribe your names in legend? I believe she has spoken. Okay, and that isn't any better. Um, that isn't any better. That isn't any better. There we go! New shoes! Okay. So. I haven't gotten the new soul stone. That is right. Okay. Steel Sabaton. Stay over my blue jeans. Love it. Okay. It is very warm. Which is obnoxious because it was very, very cold this morning. And it was raining all of yesterday. I would like the weather to make up its mind. For a cooler composition, please thank you. Oh, there you are, Arietta. Perfect timing. I've just heard a juicy bit of gossip that I know you're going to find interesting. Apparently, and remember, you heard this first from me. The Sultan Sworn Elite are sharing a secret the secret skills and training of paladins. Incredible, I know. The Sultan Sworn have an exclusive monopoly on the instruction of paladin skills. Once upon a time, if you weren't one of those officer track elites, then you had no chance to learn the arts. And competition to get to their... Competition to get to the top was very fierce indeed, let me tell you. But anyone who joined had to swear an oath of fealty to the Uldan Sultanate. Which meant no more adventuring, no more dairy doing, and no more coliseum. Just languishing about in the palace all day polishing plate mail. That's why this news is so big. Now anyone with a bit of a commitment can learn the skills of a paladin and no memorizing the 55 commandments of the sworn or any other nonsense either. This is a golden, no, platinum opportunity that comes but once in a lucky adventurer's lifetime. Let this slip through your fingers and regret will be your just desserts. You need to go to the Royal Promenade in the Houston Strip. Find the captain of the Sultan Sworn Elite, Jen Linz is his name, and tell him how you're just dying to become a paladin. Alright, we've got 15 minutes. Let's see if we can make it. Okay, so Hustings by the Chamber of Rule? Yeah. I guesstimated correctly. Yes, I'm Jenlins, member of the Sultan Sworn Elite and servant to the Uldan Sultanate. Unless my instincts deceive me, you have come to inquire about training as a paladin. If so, I would have your name, good woman. Arietta, a fine name. I bid you welcome and salute your noble resolve. But if you aspire to paladinhood, you should understand what it means. A paladin swears allegiance to the Sultanate. A paladin shall be the sword and shield of the Sultanate. A paladin defends the people of the realm. Sellswords and gladiators and to others of their ilk wield to their blades for themselves, but a paladin serves the greater good. Do you understand me? The battle arts of the paladin 
learns have been held secret, nurtured, and perfected within the ranks of the Sultan's sworn elite for nigh on these 600 years. Of all those sworn to protect the Sultanate, the soldiers, the mounted guards, and the knights, we are the elite of the elite, our conviction unwavering, our hearts true, our sword skills without peer. But the glory of the Sultan sworn, well, much of it is buried in the past now. Our brotherhood grows smaller by the year, we are a shadow of what we once were, and the Sultana turns to sell swords to defend her palace. All this because of one traitor, no, because of a blot of dishonor left by one who shall not be named. And because of him, we have been forced to seek the help of able-bodied adventurers. And here you are. We shall instruct you in the paladin military arts. You will not be inducted into the Sultan Sworn, but serve as a free paladin. However, first you must show us that both your sword and heart have metal, and you are worthy of the honor. In the ruins of, to the south of Little Alamigo, you will find an iron brazier. Light it, and let the undead nearby be drawn to the flame. Slay these monsters, and give their hearts to the fire. Return and present me their ashes as proof of your deed. Now, would-be paladin, show me the metal of your heart and steel of your blade. Okay, so little Alamigo, he said? Back to Southern Thanalin we go! I presume it would have been pretty easy to just grab all of the unlock quests at the same time and just do them as they were closer, but I figured that this would be more interesting and allow us to better, uh, better see the stories unfold. And what are we doing this challenge for if not for the stories? Am I going the right way? Nope. I most certainly am not. My bad. I miss flying in this game. <laughs> we are a ways away from making that happen, unfortunately. Okay, so how do I get over there? So it's going to be up and around. Um, Seki said, yeah, it keeps the plot lines intact a bit more. That's what I was hoping for, because it can get jumbled real fast if we're just doing all the quests very quickly and in whatever order shows up. Okay. I mean, it's definitely not bad. Like, there's a reason that I've been doing it that way. However, uh, for something as important as the job stones, I wanted to keep it a little cleaner. Since most of these I haven't seen before. And I didn't want to get the stories confused myself. Let's see if we can climb over this wall. Nope. Okay. We lit the fire. Let's hope we don't get pushed off the edge.
Okay. Not many of them. This isn't very difficult at all. Yet. We have to be prepared just in case. Only two waves? Shock. Okay, so... Ashkin hearts. Shriveled hearts removed from the lifeless husks of three forsaken souls who were, until recently, undead. Ooh, cutscene? If you are in this place searching for uh, the undead, then you must be a petitioner seeking the secrets of the paladin arts. But make no mistake, simply learning paladin swordplay does not make you a paladin, nor does the armor you wear, or the status you claim. I'm just another aging free paladin, but you would do well to heed my counsel. Strike off the shackles that bind your spirit, lift the visor that blinds, and to find the true path of the paladin. Here. You'll be returning to the captain, yes? Then give him this crystal. Okay. Thank you, weird man. The way you use that sword reminds me of a man I used to know. Mine eyes may be old, but they can see the truth well enough. Be a paladin strong and true. Devote yourself to the way and become a beacon of light. Alright, bye! Weirdo? And we go back to Ulda. Loading! Loading forever! Oh, there we are. That wasn't where I had intended to go. Mistakes were made. <sighs> okay. Houston Strip Chamber of Rule. There we go. Face the undead monsters who manifest. Blah, blah. What is that voice? Seki says, yep, the big guy appears, tells you what to do, and then yeets. I'm not sure that's the appropriate usage of the word yeets, but I understand your meaning. He has not thrown himself in a direction away from the situation. He just pieces out, says bye. Okay. The charred remains of three Ashkin hearts, proof that you have overcome Jenlin's trial. I could be wrong, though. I don't know memes, or slang, or anything like that. Yes, this is what I needed. Proof that you have defeated the undead. You have shown that your heart is true and your sword has metal. I have no doubt that you will prove an, to be an attentive pupil. That is well, for there is much to learn. First and foremost is this. You are a paladin now, a custodian of traditions ancient and noble. A free paladin has no master. Instead, she travels all lands and in every place takes up the cause of the unarmed and defenseless. You swear fealty not to a lord, but to yourself. You are nobility amongst adventurers. You have taken your first steps on a new path and you have earned the right to bear this, the soul of the paladin. Upon its surface are carved the deeds of paladins of eras past. She who bears it commands the respect of all knights of honor. Bahamut's Fang, you already possess a crystal? And you say that it was given to you by an unknown free paladin who told you to hand it to me? Where is this crystal of which you speak? I demand you show it to me at once. Yeah, okay. Strange yet beautiful runes have been carved upon the surface of this otherwise normal-looking crystal. C 
curse him. He has made a mockery of the trial. That crystal you bear is indeed the soul of the paladin, but it is disgraced, impure. It was stolen from the Sultan's sword. Sultan's sworn. The man who gave you this soul is the very traitor whom I have been seeking these many moons. He is an oathbreaker who bent to the knee to the Uldan Sultanate and who swore allegiance to the Sultan's sword but then single-handedly sullied our name and trampled it underfoot until it was lost, perhaps forever. How dare he give counsel on honor, on the paladin way? This soul is polluted, and I must dispose of it. When you come to wield your sword as a paladin, the only soul you may wear is uh, that which is bestowed by a captain of the Sultan Sworn. That traitor is no Sultan Sworn, still less a captain. By giving you a soul, he insulted not only the Brotherhood, but you, too. Perhaps an adventurer like yourself finds our rules nothing more than a nuisance. But through reigns so long and short, our forebears in the Sultan's sword have uh, preserved its rituals and traditions, and we are, we are duty bound to uphold them, even if men and women within our own ranks scorn them as relics. It has been my fate to be named Captain of the Sultan's sword, and these troubled in these troubled times though i did not ask for this honor i have bent my knee to the sultana and sworn fealty and i will fight to restore our honor and good name you wield a skilled blade and more importantly you have met the traitor face to face you face your great task as a paladin will be to help me bring him to justice you must ready yourself, marshal your resources, and hone your skills until the time comes when you are able to discharge your duty. The journey will be long, but you are a paladin now, and honor binds you surely as oath. All right. We did it! All right, so now we just equip all the things and fix the hot bars. Okay, please, please close. Thank you. Cancel. I need to delete the gladiator set. Create the Paladin set. I did that incorrectly. That's fine. It's totally fine. That's such a fine thing. Fine, fine, fine. There. And slash hotbar copy gladiator one paladin one and slash hot bar copy gladiator two paladin two. All right. Um, you get a neat free attack skill for level thirty. One of those off -glo global cooldown skills. Nice. Well, we will get all of that situated next time because. We are at the end of the stream. So. What? Um. Okay, Seki, be careful. <laughs> Very odd. Anyways. Um. Thank you, everybody, for being here. I super appreciate you all coming to say hi and to just hang out while I unlocked a few more job stones on this, our fifth month stream anniversary. Again, thank you so incredibly much for being here. I super appreciate it. Uh, and thank you for five months. Like, it, it definitely feels like a lot. So, um, <clears throat> in the chat, I have put the link to the Beacons directory again. 
uh, through that link you can find the updates on Twitter as as well as the updates in our community discord currently uh, in the community discord we are I have just put up today a poll so that people who are part of the community discord can just kind of share their ideas and opinions as far as uh, doing the emotes for the discord server that will eventually be on twitch as well so if you would like to have a say in the kinds of emotes that you would want to see and the kinds of emotes that you would use please head over to the discord and um just make sure that you read the rules and information and introduce yourself so that I can confirm that you are not a bot and can give you the verified status to participate in the rest of the server. Uh, through that Beacons link, I also have the YouTube channel, which uh, when I checked this morning, we had gotten up to 30 subscribers on YouTube. So I'm super excited for that. Uh, half of those subscribers have joined the YouTube channel in the past month alone. So apparently things are going well and I'm super thrilled about that. Um, also through this beacons link are a link to my Kofi and my throne. As you can see on the right side of the screen, if you are watching this stream, I have a special thanks area for supporters of the stream who support financially either through Kofi or through throne. Uh, through Kofi right now, we are saving up to get a CPU cooler so that I can install the new CPU on my PC. And on the throne, I have a crowdfunded option for getting a new microphone as the one I'm using has some really weird popping feedback going on and I haven't been able to find a way to fix that. So we're looking to get that replaced instead. Uh, what else? Uh, as I had previously said, we are now doing three days a week. And those three days are Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. Monday and Fridays, I play Final Fantasy XIV in this All Jobs, All Quests challenge run. And uh, on Wednesdays right now, I am doing my first ever playthrough of Genshin Impact. I started playing last week on stream and I haven't played since then so tomorrow I'll be getting back into it and we'll see how far I get. All right so if you would like to join me in the raid today there is a raid message in the chat. Please copy that over and I think today uh, we will go and see uh, Toffinated. So Toffee, uh, otherwise known as Toffinated, is a, a variety streamer. She uses she, her pronouns, I believe, uh, and is currently playing Stardew Valley. Um, and, oh, looks like she might have just switched to Potion Permit, so that is a day one early access. So that's exciting. Uh, so I'm going to get that raid going. But again, thank you everybody for being here. Super appreciate you. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I'll see you on Wednesday with Genshin Impact. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.